<laughs> it's called gray dust. Did you know our lungs, yours and mine, sit as otherwise empty vessels where the air has been evicted, replaced by the gray exhaust and fluid of staying too long? It was as if they, our lungs, were vacant rooms taken over by someone who was just visiting in Midtown. Forget the medicine. You still have to breathe the air with its unforgiving skin and metallic weight that moves across the tongue as I cough up what the bridge and tunnel, cr bridge and tunnel crowd leave behind. How can you make a natural home in the emergency room? After all, our fortunes have been spent and there are no more deals to cheat the gravity that draws us from the wasted hours at the movies, where, what, uh, where we watch as spectators who sit silently under the drawn shades of the darkened theater to witness the brutality of a projected life which ends every two hours only to start over until the next show, when all the mistakes sit as an ever-present threat and the end seems so uncertain and has curdled. But when the lights come on and the thoughts of the body reform, we know that the only thing that awaits us are the em are the empty lots and store and store I'm excuse me, are, and storefronts and SROs, where we still where we are still young in our skin, in the sound waves of uh, ambulance sirens. We have all perfected these steps to damp. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We have all perfected the steps to the damp to say uh, to stay out of St. Luke's. The skin, the skin becomes lame and sexless in blue gowns and blue pills, or avoiding the sil uh, or avoiding the silent snow. I will not pass as a ghost into the gray dawn's early light, only to return in the afternoon and wait on Eighth Avenue for a taxi that never stops. Nor will my voice only exist in the exhaust of an idling car but the mold that has formed around my tub will claim a piece of my last breath. Thank you. <laughs>